For understanding the clinical anatomy of the liver biopsy, we need to understand the relations of the right surface of the liver. When we see the relations of the right surface of the liver, it is related to 7th to 11th rib along with the intercostal spaces between them. But when we see the upper one third of the right surface of the liver, it is related to the lungs and the pleura both. Middle one third of the right surface of the liver, it is related to the pleura only, no lungs is there. And in the lower one third, the right surface of the liver, it is related to no pleura, no lung. So the liver biopsy is advised through the 9th or the 10th intercostal space in case of the full expiration. In case of the normal respiration, the lung lies at the level of the 8th rib in the mid axillary line and the pleura lies at the level of the 10th rib in the mid axillary line. But with the full expiration, the lung passes slightly upward and that's why there are less chances to injury to the lung tissue. So that's why the liver biopsy is advised from the 9th or the 10th intercostal space. So the liver biopsy done to the 9th or the 10th intercostal space, it prevents injury to the tissue of the lung. And that is the clinical anatomy concerned with the liver biopsy. When we put needle in the 9th or the 10th intercostal space, it will be a so many structures. We can enumerate it from the outer to inner side that is the skin, superficial fascia, then external oblique muscle, then just deep to it we have intercostal muscles. Just deep to it we will find the two layers of the pleura. In between the two layers of the pleura we have costodiaphragmatic recess. Then we pierce the diaphragm muscle. After piercing the diaphragm muscle we have to pierce the parietal peritoneum and then we need to reach up to the subdiaphragmatic recess and then we pierce the visceral layer of the peritoneum to reach up to the liver. So these many structures can be pierced through this liver biopsy at the 9th or the 10th intercostal space. So the most important thing we need to understand is that we need to keep lungs away in the passage of the liver biopsy to prevent injury to the lung tissue.